Bowie we got a week we need a while 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 this week I feel it okay because god the doctor last night but speaking of which we may not have I don't know if by the time I've got this on I'll start that again I'm all over the place I'll start that again I'm all jibbity 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 do Bow it, ground our week, Winnie Bow, my fellow Transform fans. Monkey here for another review. Um, how are you doing? You alright? Good, good. So, I want to say some thank yous. Thank yous to our new subscribers. Okay. So, first of all, we have Katrina and whatnot, which I, I, I like. My friend Katrina. I met at AA and she was at the Northern meet. Yeah, she's over to the other side at Pennines, but you know, I won't put that against her. Top card. So uh, thank you very much for subscribing, Patrina. Um, Dave's Transformers Junk Heap. Dave's Transformers Junk Heap. Okay, I subscribe him. Thank you very much. Now, Dave is a mate of the Mighty Grimlocks. And I met him on the Northern Meet. He seemed a nice guy. And you want to ask him about Galvatron. Okay? He's got a tattoo of Galvatron. I'm not going to tell you where. But it really hurt. Which I thought was really cool. Um, you ask him about it. Go to his page now. There'll be a link at the bottom. Go to his page. Look at his vids. He's got two vids now. He's done a, 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 a Rodimus. Oh, sorry, that's nearly sick now. Um, and... Um, what was the other one? Uh, Dave, 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 Dave. Sea spray. Sea spray, that was it. Because it got me. You know what, Dave, right? Your bid about sea spray made me go upstairs and get the bot down and have a play with him. Very good. Like it. Yes. Check him out. Watch his videos. And then ask him on one of the comments, where's your tattoo of Galvatron? He'll tell, he'll, he'll tell you. He'll do a video about it. Tell us. It's good. Nice guy. Watch his stuff. Wife nearly fell. You alright? Yeah. Okay. Good. <clears throat> oh, I've got like, I've got my PC on the main monitor, on the main TV. On my PC, on my thingy. Do hickey. And that shows me Gmail account. And then I've got the wife's laptop here. And, you know, this is where I'm videoing it on, you know? Magic. Anyway, who else? Phil Mayers. Now you, you don't. You got who did? Who's Phil Mayers? Those of you who don't love him as much wouldn't be thinking that anyway. The ones who do love him as much know who he is. Yes, Raptor Twenty Five. For some reason, he's 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 subscribing again. I think he just wants me to mention him. To be honest, that's what Phil wants me to do. He's going like Jim hasn't mentioned me for a while. So there you go. Check out his latest haul vid. Um, and then my friend, the Mr. Polar Polar Poo Poo, it says Paul Poo, which is absolutely brilliant. I went, is that, is that Paul's real name? I found that later on. He's on YouTube, on Facebook now with me. That's not his real surname. That would have been really rubbish if his surname was Poo. But Polar Polar Poo Poo, a lovely guy that man was. And I, I subscribed him, subscribed him for ages, like watching his stuff. He's just a crazy guy. He is. He's a lovely, crazy guy, though. You should all get to know him. So, again, the link for him down there. Check it out. That's me. Thank you. Thank you, my new subscribers. Love these loads. Um, thank you to my old subscribers um, for sticking around. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, what's been going on? Iconic reviews. Da, 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 da. Good stuff going on. We've almost finished our all our recordings now for the uh, the Christmas thing, the Christmas special, Christmas special, and um, and we've got we've got one more interview to do, and we're gonna edit it all together, put it together, blotch it all, and put it on on our on our uh, on our site. It's probably gonna be mid December when it comes out. What's well, gonna be beginning? But it's not. Because of us, it's because of the website. We've got so much crammed on the on the hard drive at the moment that we're waiting for it to lessen down a bit and then we can load more up. So watch this space. This will be our first new show with 
extra cast member if you're real. You'll have to stay tuned for that one. See who's coming up. This week, we've got on our current reviews our final issue of uh, Sub, um, Stormbringer. We shall be bringing the storm this week. Um, whether it's going to be on today, I don't know. Because of the day of the Doctor last night, Rob is um, in a gibbering wreck in his bedroom. Um, I, I tried to contact him last night, and he's he's a bit of a mess, to be honest. He's, he's, he's you know, uh, he's overloaded on the who. So, I mean, check out his video. I mean, he's, his, his mind and his spirit are going north and south. Anyone who can quote, who can tell me what that quote's from, there'll be there'll be a little gift coming your way. So there you go, a little competition. What was that quote from? Um, yes. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be on today. If it's not, don't blame Rob too much. Okay, is a little bit defrazzled. Okay, so let's move on. Let's get to the main subject, shall we? Another subject today. We're talking about Ultra Magnus. Now, I've covered Ultra Magnus. It's the G1 toy. However, this is the one that I've been wanting to do. And I've been leaving it because I've been looking for the bloody smokestacks. You can't get bloody smokestacks anywhere. Now, I'll do what I'll do with anyone. I was looking for a crappy old Optimus Prime one. You know, the classic one? And then just take that stoke smokestack. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. I will find one. And then I'll be able to put it on him. But, yes. You know, normally I do the robot first, but we'll do the other big bit later on. Yeah. Magic is ready. Anyway, so here is um, Generations Ultra Magnus. Now, he came in a box, a two box, with uh, Skywalk. I never got him. I got these guys the hard way. But, as you can see, I haven't got my Prime with me, but... Everyone knows this mold now. There's been so many cult reek decos of this mold and knockoffs and things. You'll notice as well that it's got some stickers on it. This is the Repro label sticker set. Okay, so we've got some uh, stickers on there, on its face. Okay. I think so. I think it's on his face. Yeah. Uh, once two stickers on his things. On his knee pads, and that is it, I think. Yeah, not much on here because this ain't the main event. This is just a little taste of what you're going to get. And on the back, we have the the, shit, the guard, the wind guard thing. Thank you, beautiful lady. See, brew on delivery. I love her. She makes it, she, makes, she can make a great bit brew. But. Caroline, I've got no sugar, love. There's no sugar. Sure. But it tastes great. You know what? I could keep that and without the sugar. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Love you. Anyhow, right. So yes, the wind guard, the sh the windshield, whatever. If if there's like a hurricane, can Prime like get it out? Can yeah, Prime or Ultra Magnus get it out and do this and like totally protect it? No. Anyway, as you know, it unfolds the big gun. And until I got the City Commander set, uh, this was his gun. This is his only gun that I had, and it, it kind of flops. The vent. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't usually happen like this, but you know, usually I'm around the day. Um. The only other thing about this one, it, it doesn't seem to act well with the armour, uh, but I'll get into that later. Um, I got the new armour set, so it comes with the missiles and uh, the gun. And because it's the new set, it comes with holes already in. And on the repro label set, you get these stickers. Which are kind of defunct because when you put these things on, you know, it, it hides the sticker and this folds over anyway for robot mode for the farm. So I don't know why, but hey, never mind. Um, so let's put let's do a comparison. Oh, it comes with this gun, which I kind of like. 
because it's a nice little link, a uh, little little wink to uh, the original one. So uh, that's the new one. Pretty cool. That's what you have in uh, when he's when the truck when the cabin is just in bottom. Okay, uh, that's what how he would wear it. Let's put it on. Let's get it on. There you go. See? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, come on. Here, there you go. Um, so there it is. And the original one. And then with the original one, you just turn it upside down. And you get. Uh, sorry. It's that way. Sorry. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way for the cabin. Yeah, okay. And then you just turn it all over. And that's for the, the, the whole when Magnus is in his big armor mode. And then all you do with this one, as I'm sure you know already. But I'm going to show you anyway. Hold it back, push that in, which flips that off, turn it over, and there you go. And so it has that going. And you know, I, I like that. Uh, close and lock. Yeah, pretty good. Rubbish me, aren't I? There you go. Yep. So, let's say uh, a comparison shot with the two cab parts and the inner roll box. There we go. So, pretty much the same size. It, it, this one's a little bit bigger. Um, but you know what? I love this. I still love this mold. It's absolutely brilliant mold. Well, remember, this is one of the first molds that they did. This was originally Optimus Prime. And the articulation on this is really, really good. I totally rate this one. Um, this one's pretty good. It's chunky. It's it's got it's got a bit of kibble though. Unlike this one, no kibble, no kibble. Just perfect the way it is. Uh, this one's got kibble because of it. Uh, but he's got some great articulation, and he is really sturdy on his feet. And you can do some pretty good poses actually um, with this guy. So yeah, very good. All that jive and spinny and uh, wrist doesn't move because the transformation effects in the same. Um, head tilts, spins, it spins, that's what it does. Uh, does it have light piping? Yes, it does have light piping. I've never actually noticed that before. Um, don't blame me. It's usually up in bot mode, isn't it? With cab and all that. So there you go. Let's put it. I think, I think it's about time we put it in uh, truck mode and find out what the differences are on that. So here we have Ultra Magnus and City Commander. That's complete bollocks. Right there, because I've got to put these in. You dumbass. I'm going to look like a guy who doesn't even know how to transform them. So here we have G1 Ultra Magnus and City Commander and uh, Classics Ultra Magnus. As you can see, there are some big differences, but some really good wings on the City Commander set compared to uh, for the for the G1. So we are both they both have the missile sets. Now this is the new version of the City Commander set. So um, so it comes with the missile launchers and the pegs are actually the holes are in there already. And this is the sit uh, the uh, it comes with this bit here, which is kind of cool. Um, unnecessary really because it's hardly it's, it's hardly seen the sticker but hey but these are the these are the two sets the good thing about G1 is they can carry four cars this doesn't this is just a block on the back um, but let's take a closer look at it it's a real nice so moves pretty well and if you look the wheels do match I mean there's there's like only three holes in the wheels, and they could have cut the others out. I don't know why. Probably cost cutting. I'm not that bothered, to be honest. In fact, you know what? I am. I paid a bit of money for that, so balls to you. Get it done. Why didn't you do it? So, <laughs> nah. This has also got the uh, the repro labels on, and it does harken back to the more mostly actually a little wink to Optimus Prime with the the markings that it does on there. Kind of cool. Um, but it brings out a bit more red to it to give it that look of the G1. As you can see, I'm uh, I'll put the G1 behind it. G1 is 
longer um, with the trailer. So yeah, pretty cool. And if we just look at the trucks themselves, the G1 cab is much smaller. Um, looking around, like I say, this is uh, basically the same mold as the Oxford Prime. So. So very cool. I yes, I know. I know what you're thinking. I'm missing the small stacks. I'm a little bit sad about that. Uh, I need to find some. Um, on there, there's a city commander thing there, and the stickers look pretty cool. Just a little bit of a close up. What the stickers look like. They're liking quite nice. Um, and there's lots of stuff going on at the front there. You see that? All those stickers. All these little things. We'll come into. Uh, It'll show what their true true meanings are in a bit, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So in, uh, whilst in truck mode, though, um, there's only this that's free, uh, that's loose in the uh, in, uh, in, when he's in truck mode. It does look like it attaches to something. It looks like it could do, but it, it, I think they failed on it really. Um, there was a peg there, um, but. Mm, yeah, it's yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do much really. So, oh well, it's just that. But with the G one, um, if I left the fists out and didn't put them in the chest, um, still got all them bits. And it's funny how this bit it's a glider, isn't it? You know, it's like a ship. It looks like from the uh, Diaclone. Uh, oh, Micro no, uh, Micro Man, no, Micro Man, isn't it? Micro Man uh, era. No, I don't know, quite interesting. Josh, you'll probably tell me what it is, G1 Exitron, what, what that's from. It, it's probably a Micro Man thing, but, you know. Oh, can I just say as well, Josh, um, I loved your uh, your last video with the Galvatron thing and your reenactment of the film. Brilliant. Keep doing that, man. Good stuff. Uh, check out Josh's stuff. He's a uh, G1 Exitron. Awesome guy. Um, if you like G1 toys, he tells you everything you need to know about that toy. Um, so, yeah, so there's lo lots of stuff. Now, let's see the bot mode. And here we have Ultra Magnus in his full City Commander armor. And you have to admit, that is pretty impressive, yes? Um, they even done stuff with the, the back bit. This bit here is like the cradle because uh, it's a parts former, isn't it? You all know how to transport it. This is, there's been so many videos of this been done. That's why I'm not showing you how to transform it. You want to know how to transform it? There's a really cool video. Uh, just put in City Command and you'll see a CGI clip which will show you how to transform it. It does it as if he's doing it, you know? Like it should be in a show. And this is a cradle. Uh, the, the parts all form onto this, which is the centre parts, the actual uh, trailer, and it becomes um, a massive gun. A, a lot of people are using it like a, a bazooka. It turns into a massive gun, yeah, that he holds. And uh, some people are using it like a bazooka, like this, um, but. It's 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 supposed to. I think it's supposed to just do that. That's here. And it goes like that. That's your your big gun. Yeah. And you know what? It works in my hand, in my book. It works. Um, I prefer to use it like this because the barrel and that it just looks like a barrel to a gun this way more than any other way and it also fits that bit more yeah I mean they say you're supposed to do it like this and fold it over but that, that don't do nothing that's what it is there's your big gun yeah oh I'm rubbish today oh yeah there you go look at that BFG so yeah um, so you can have that they, they didn't need to do anything with it they could have left it but you know what? I'm glad they did something with it. Now this is supposed to attach on the back. But the peg on the back is too big for this. 
so it doesn't work. So it's just like, ah. So I use that on there, and there you go. There's the two guns. One's big and floppy. Hey, but enough about my willy. <laughs> and then the other one is the other gun, which is pretty cool. And for, take that one off. Comparison. G1 and all that. Oh, hang on. Work. Aha, there you go. Okay, um, G1 is taller, he's bigger, um, but I do like this one, he still has all, oh, sorry ladies and gentlemen, get in there, get in there, there we go, there we go, so this one's bigger, and he still has some really good articulation in the arms, but everything else is a statue, whereas this one has loads of articulation, there's even tilt, in the feet and you know us fans us us transformer fans we like we like tilting we like to tilt in our feet so some good uh, the, the it's articulation it's there hang on oh, did you see that there hang on Emph. go there there we go nice so um yeah, the, the thing is, it catches slightly, like you just seen. But it, it does have the articulation there. Yeah, you can still kind of rotate. Not bad for a thing that's just got extra bits on it. You know, it's, it's making it catch everything. There you go. There it was. So, yeah, it's not bad. It'll do. It'll be fine. The face, though. Fuck it. I'd show you up close, but it's really hard. It's not playing today. Um, but it's not very good. It kind of looks like Michael Jackson in Moonwalker. You know, at the end, he turns into that robot. It's not quite right. There's a couple of other bot. There's a couple of other faces that you can do as well with this, because this is the new set that I was saying. So it comes with like uh, two or three different faces, and this was the nearest one that could be perceived as Ultra Magnus, but still, eh. Anyway, that is my take on Ultra Magnus. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still here, thanks. Um, tune, in ne tune in next time, and uh, there will be more I iconic reviews. No, there won't be any more iconic reviews. Not here. There'll be more Monkey Zen TV reviews. Um, but for iconic reviews, we've got, let's say, like I say, the last issue of Stormbringer, issue four. And it's. Um, me and Rob with guests Raz and Luke. The, the next one that we're coming out, which will be mid December, like I said, will be our first anniversary -ish, um, episode. Uh, we've got some Q and A's, and we've got uh, a review, which we're doing. Um, Transform Mars Attacks versus Transformers, which will be a good one. I love that one. Tune in for iconic reviews. Until then, be good. Be good to yourselves and each other. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.